What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual and welcome to the state where we examine street fashion, culture, the industry, and the lives surrounding it. And today, we got a doozy. Farfetch has bought New Guards Group. And for a crazy amount of cash and stock, we'll talk about what it all means next. Let's get it. Farfetch, the luxury online e-commerce platform, has reportedly bought New Guards Group, the same company that owns a majority stake in brands like Off-White, Heron Preston, Palm Angels, and others for a whopping $675 million cash and stock. Farfetch is banking that this new acquisition could take the platform into new territory and has pretty much acquired the upswing brands of the time. And despite Farfetch's stock price plummeting, its revenues have been on the upswing, totaling $345 million over the course of the last fiscal year. What this all means is that NGG founder David De Giglio has become an extremely wealthy man after being pretty much broke to start his company. And Farfetch is reading the tea leaves of what's about to and already happening in fashion. That is one, luxury fashion is about to become faster, like fast fashion faster. New Guards Group boasted that the company produced like 200 collections in 2018 and was able to push out luxury priced items, including leather and sneaker goods in just three weeks. That's super fast. Combined with Farfetch's platform, this could prove to be very lucrative. And number two, if companies like NGG are able to create lineups beyond just tees in just three weeks, we may be entering an entirely new era in fashion, one where influencers, YouTubers, and celebs will be able to make full bona fide collections luxury style, creating an ever-changing landscape in fashion where the hottest brands are the ones with the most clout behind them rather than just the best designs. And Farfetch is banking on that to be the case. They not only bought the brands under New Guards Group, but that fast infrastructure as well. And along with their $250 million acquisition of stadium goods, Farfetch is setting itself up to be the first official streetwear-focused conglomerate, much like LVMH, and the Karen Group, but with breakneck speed releases never before seen in the industry. By acquiring NGG and linking it to their platform along with the scalability of fashion in the 21st century, they can push that future forward even faster. You can almost assuredly expect more releases, capsules, collapse coming from the NGG lineup that they acquired, but don't be surprised if they change their platform to include up and coming clout brands, giving them a way to sell luxury goods fans of notable and famous individuals. A few questions to ask. Is this the future we asked for? Should we have expected this? What happens to the traditional fashion model if this succeeds? Will other labels adopt this fash luxury collection strategy? And most importantly, is it sustainable? More clothes means more waste if not carefully monitored. All questions that should be answered in the years ahead. So let us know what you think of these developments, Farfetch buying NGG, and what you think the future will hold in the comments. And give a thumbs up if you like this video. Follow your boy on Instagram at Reggie Casual. So stay subscribe If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. And I'll see you guys in a minute.